first camp. This is the Mkumbe Safari Lodge, which is part of the world famous Sabi Sand uh, private reserve in Kruger. This will be uh, our first stop for three days, so hopefully around six safaris before we move on to uh, Jambavati. This is uh, how the internal chalets look. And this is the tub. And then you have an outdoor shower. It's quite nice. One of the best things about Umkumbi Safari Lodge is the fact that the seasonal sand river flows just behind it. And the river has uh, always been a magnet for huge herds of African elephants, which comes right till the boundary of the camp. And then you can just sit in your veranda and look at these huge herds happily munching away on the green grass in the river beds. This is the Styx Pride whose territory overlaps with uh, that of the Umkumbe concession. Unfortunately, we never saw the male uh, lions of the Pride, but had a great time uh, seeing the mom and the cubs having fun playing with each other in amazing light. In the night drives, we saw three cheetah brothers very close to the boundary with the Londolosi game reserve. Apart from these cheetahs, we also saw spotted hyena and my own personal favorite from the whole trip, a genet. Another memorable experience was what, watching the leopard Sesakile as she marked her territory and walked around our jeep without a care in the world. Leaving Sesakile, we saw dwarf mongoose, we saw a stainback. We saw diker as well as plenty of giraffes. Just like the rest of Greater Kruger National Park, Sabi also presents many, many opportunities to see elephants up close and personal. Here one with the tusk bent backwards. The next day we saw a white rhino mom and calf, unfortunately dehorned to reduce the risk of poaching. Since we could hear the male lions from the Styx Pride roaring from across the sand river from Malamala, we went in search of the rest of the pride and caught up with the mom and cubs in the late evening sunlight. Leaving the Styx pride, we were greeted to a massive spectacle of close to 700 buffaloes blocking our path on our way back to Umkumbi. Before we knew, it was time to say goodbye to the Umkumbi Safari Lodge and the beautiful Sand River. After three memorable days in Sabi Sand and the Mkumbi Safari Lodge, we transferred on to Timbavati Private Reserve. At Timbavati, we would be staying in the Batelier Safari Camp. So we have just reached the Batelier Safari Camp at Timbavati. It's another lovely little camp next to a seasonal river and uh, yeah it's smaller than some of the bigger camps in this region but it's so lovely and it's very environmental friendly this is our ngwe tented camp in the batalior safari camp and it's a lovely area outside to sit and enjoy the bush let me now open it.
This is the interior of the Bataleor camp. As you can see, it's a tented camp right in the middle of the bush. And it's very, very lovely. That's my camera back there. And coming in, you have a nice bathroom area. It's also lovely uh, with an external bath shower just in case you want to take bath in the bush. Now, very first night drive, we saw a leopard very close to Batalia. Next day morning, we met three lionesses of the resident Mayambula pride, whose territory overlaps uh, with the Batalia concession in this part of Timbavati, and they presented us with uh, some of the most memorable safari experience one could hope for. <laughs> She is one of the older leopards uh, whose territory overlaps with this part of Timbavati. And true to her nature of being an extremely friendly leopard, she sat on her throne like a queen surveying all her lands, giving us some amazing photo opportunities. We also saw eight uh, white rhinos at Timbavati and unlike in uh, parts of Sabi, they were not dehorned. Uh, just a different philosophy towards conservation, I guess. Back at Batalier, we were greeted by a few Nialas right inside the camp, apart from a velvet monkey who was enjoying looking at himself in the mirror. Another Batalier special was the demonstration of bushcraft by the tracker Lucky. Lucky is a favorite across adults and children. Whoever visits Batalier has only great things to say about Lucky. After spending our last safari with ostriches, it was soon time to say goodbye to Batalier and Timbavati. After our safaris were over, we decided to go to Johannesburg via road instead of flying so we could enjoy yet another natural wonder of South Africa, the Blythe's Canyon. Finally, it was time to say goodbye to the beautiful rainbow nation. <laughs>